Ciao comrades, Halloween is nearly here. I do not celebrate it, but I do celebrate every proper horror game. And that's what this video is all about. About being scared and on the edge. I've picked some PS Vita games and ports, as well as some PSP titles from every genre. And in the end, we got a showcase of every proper horror playable on the Vita. So, let's get far cracking. Let's start with something simple but effective. Halloween Forever. 2D platformer with pixelated graphics and beeping soundtrack. You jump, you shoot and you kill skeletons, zombies and evil sorcerers. Platformer fan? Must install if you haven't already. Second is Hysteria Project. Full motion video survival adventure game. There is a first person pre-recorded clip. Then you are presented with a choice. You choose. And then according to what you picked there is another clipped plate. And it is all progressing based on the choices you've made. It is a weird concept, but you would be surprised how effective it is. Certainly worth trying out. There is also a second part available. Number 3. 2013 Infected Wars. Yes, I know, it is just another generic third person shooter. You gain XP, you level up. It brings nothing new to the table, besides co-op mode. Still, if you are like me and you are enjoying popping zombies heads like walnuts, install it. It is the next best thing to play in that trigger on your PS Vita. Also guys, if you are enjoying these videos, like and subscribe because there is certainly more to come. Number 4. Silent Hill Origins. This is an exceptional survival horror. I love it. This is exactly what I expect from proper survival experience. A proper combat. You can never go wrong with smashing creatures with a hammer. A chilling atmosphere, a catchy storyline, and here and there some exploration and puzzle solving. I presume all of you are familiar with Silent Hill franchise, and perhaps even with this entry, because it is no secret, it is a blast. So let's proceed to number 5. As you may know, I'm not really into visual novels, but I'm including one anyway. Spirit Hunter NG, a successor of award winning Death Mark. You explore back alleys and engage in dialogue and action choices that affect story's outcome. There is many more solid visual novels on the Vita, we'll check them out at the end of the video. Now number 6, port of Dead Space Mobile. Not exactly a port of original Dead Space, nonetheless the survival is real, you're gonna get killed a lot, be prepared. And of course, don't forget to use proper headphones or speakers for desired effect. But this holds true for every title on this list. Seventh, Manhunt 2, a blast from the golden rockstar past. This game was praised for its dark, gritty tone and violent gameplay. It was suspended when it received adults only rating, then it was censored, but even after censorship in the UK, they refused to release it. And only after they appealed the decision in front of committee, the game was released with an 18th certificate. This is what I would call disturbing game, only play at your own risk. Eighth is a Dying Reborn, a dark, horror-themed puzzle game that creates a unique first-person room escape experience. Examine, collect and use items to solve a variety of creative puzzle types to escape each spooky room. Number 9. Obscure the Aftermath. Another cult classic third person survival horror, originally released in 2004 for Windows, PS2 and Wii. Give me a baseball bat and I can smash zombies all day long. PSP port is excellent because it allows you to play two players mode with ad hoc system. Even if you already beaten it, I think now it's time to give it another go because I'm sure you already forgotten how great this game actually is. At number 10, Go Boy, a retro inspired Halloween style action platformer that combines an action RPG with hack and slash. Gloomy environments, demon bosses, similarity to Ghosts and Goblins, what else could you ask for? 11, you know me and my affection towards Alien vs Predator, I'm trying to include it in as many lists as I can and it fits nicely in here. It is not your typical horror game, 
but I can assure you it will send plenty of chills down your spine and there are gonna be plenty of aliens chasing you in your dreams. Twelfth Detonation. This was actually one of my very first games that I have tried on my very first PS Vita. And I gotta tell you, I liked it a lot. It reminded me of Killzone Liberation in a way. I still like to come back to it, especially at the times like this. Number 13, Yomavari, Night Alone. Survival horror, where player need to explore town in order to find protagonist dog and sister. To do so, flashlight is needed to illuminate her path and to look for useful items. Not a lot of action in this game. And cause of that we are moving on to number 14, Resident Evil Revelations 2. I know we all know it's a great game, albeit with a slower frame rate, use overclock to hire it. But what makes me to come back to it regularly is the raid mode. It is a fun way how to get quick fix in form of killing few zombies. You just grab a character, equip it with a favorite costume and a gun, and the rest is in your perseverance. Cause the more you play it, the better it becomes. One minor nitpick, the freaking loading times are killing me, man. Number 15, Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Another horror masterpiece. It is a reimagination of the first game. It retains the premise, but it is set in a different fictional universe. And it has also different plot and altered characters alongside new ones. Not as good as Origins, in my opinion, but it absolutely deserves to be on this list. I was considering many titles from now on, but I've picked the ones that I enjoyed the most, cause it is my list in the end, you know. So number 16, Undead Knights. Some might say, another generic repetitive third person action adventure game. I say another kick ass zombie destroyer. You are killing enemies, and you are also turning them into your zombie slaves. That will be fighting on your side. Brutal metal music adds a lot of charm to this title. Same like with number 17, Army Corps of Hell, metal music at its core alongside rock solid gameplay. You cannot fight, but you are ordering minions what to attack. There are different classes of minions to choose from, a lot of blood and a lot of exploding brains in here. Cannot miss out. Number 18, Death Junior 2, Root of Evil, or even first part is brilliant. It is a third person action platformer in a Tim Burton-esque style with a quirky characters. You can attack with melee or with different ranged weapons. You can acquire new abilities and combos. Platforming is often not easy. The controls take some getting used to. Overall, another PSP game worth revisiting. Number 19, Port of Postal, Isometric Twin Stick Shooter. If you feel there is not enough horror in here and you would prefer something with zombies or werewolves, I got two alternatives for you, Age of Zombies and Dracula Undead Awakening. Both are similar and very enjoyable Twin Stick Shooters. Last but not least, on the 20th spot, I'm including the best Horror Vita games from this Reddit post. This guy have a great selection in here, PS1, PSP, PS Vita and ports. And I feel like these are pretty much all the greatest Horror Vita games, including some indie horrors, Yomavari, Corpse Party, Claire, Deathmark, Zero Escape, Sense ACPGS, Steinsgate, Leather, Nightcry, Darkest Dungeon, Knock Knock, Whispering Willows, Never Ending Nightmares, Limbo, Back in 1995, Don't Starve, Haunt the House, Lone Survivor, Uncanny Wally, Home, The Long Reach, Distraint, Breeder Homegrown, The Count Lucener, Some PS Vita Ports, Five Nights at Freddy's, Frambo, Granny, Gone Home, or even Luigi's Mansion 2D via Yellowder. Then some PS1, PSP and official Vita titles, Resident Evil Zero, Survivor, Director Scott, Second Part, Third Part Nemesis, Clock Tower 1 and 2, Parasite Eve 1 and 2, Third Birthday, Kudelka, Galerians, 
Hell Knight, Alone in the Dark 1-2, Dino Crisis 1-2, Dracula 1-2, Evil Dead, Shadow Man, The Walking Dead 1 and 2, Silent Hill 1 and Book of Memories, Fear Effect, Nightmare Creatures, Overblood, Eco Knight, Alien Trilogy and Resurrection, Medieval, Shadow of Destiny, Dead Head Fred, Infected, Dante's Inferno, that's pretty much it. I think PS Vita offers a great selection of horror games from all genres. I especially enjoyed the PSP games, cause there were many great ones ported from or even to PS2. I'm sure I've missed plenty, let me know your favorite ones down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to members and patrons for support. Like, subscribe, join, peace out!